In either the manual cut cycle or the auto cut cycle, there is a built-in cutting chart which makes setup of the parameters such as feed force and blade speed for various materials much easier. We call that a cutting chart. From this screen, we select the size of material from the drop-down menu. In this case, we'll go up to five inch stock. We can select a material type from the drop-down menu. In this particular case, we're going to say cast iron. Notice that we're going to give you some recommended settings of the machine in feed force and blade speed. I can choose to use those settings by touching use these settings. I go back and you'll notice that now those settings are entered into the machine and the machine will be run that way. In addition to our cutting chart, the control also has a function which allows us to populate a material list with spe specific materials and machine settings based on prior experience. Here we call that a material list. First thing we want to do is add something to that list and we're going to give it a material code. In this particular case, I'm going to say four by four by 0.25 and enter. I will give it a description of A36 square tube and enter. And I can add any notes, special notes that would be required, such as weld seam down and enter. And now here's where I give it the information based on my prior experience. I'll suggest that a feed rate, a feed force of 125 pounds, a feed rate of 8.5, and a blade speed of 275. And I will save that data, and go back, cancel out, now we go back to the material list, select my material type from the drop-down menu. I load that information into the control and the machine is set with those settings.